Hey guys and welcome to how I upcycled some pictures that I owned. So I've had these two pictures for quite a while. I got them from a charity shop. I did pay a fair amount for them. They are two pieces of art that were made in Manchester um, and it's using recycled glass. I don't know the artist's name, it's just the address on the back of the picture. And I've never really quite liked the frame but obviously they match the are uh, and the white surround so I've never wanted to change the frames but I've decided I wanted to do something to them so I'm just going to use some fake flowers and some cardboard a hot glue gun and some tweezers and you'll need a ruler as well and a pen if you decide to do the same with something that you've got in your house so I'm just going to measure the corner of the frames and decide how long I want them so I've decided I'm going to have them about five inches wide but five inches long by five inches high and I'm just measuring the width of the frame and it's just under two inches so now that I've got the measurements I'm going to do the four I'm going to do two corners on each picture I'm not sure if I'm going to use all four or if I'm just going to use two but I'm going to cut out four um, just to start off with so I'm just measuring five inches across the bottom and then I'm going to measure five inches across the side or up the side And then depending on if depending on the thickness of whatever frame you decide to use them for um de determines how wide you need to measure so i'm just measuring just under two inches on the side and then just under two inches across the top and then just under two inches from the edge and then I'm just making sure that it matches up and just drawing a line so we're basically drawing the corner of the photo frames and like I said I'm going to do four then I'm just going to cut them out with a craft knife so I'll be back once I've done that so I've cut out four and like I said I'm not too sure if I'm going to use all four if I'm just going to use two but I'll make four anyway and I'm just checking that the cardboard fits and it does so I'm all happy with that and we can start adding the flowers to the cardboard so the idea with, the, with this is that obviously they can just be put on and taken off without damaging the frames so um, it's just an easier way than just sticking the foliage to the frames so I'm going to start with one and I don't normally show you how I do these um, I normally cut out um, the flower arranging but I'm actually going to show you in this one today so I just start off with a basic idea and I just use a few leaves at a time and basically build it up and I do the same on every single one if I've got multiple that I'm making so I'll do a few leaves on one and then I'll copy exactly what I've done on the others and I'll do it that way so I'm going to show you how I do them today so I'm just going to put a few base leaves down to cover the ends and the center of the card and I do always pick this up and put it in front of the frame so I get a general idea of what it's going to look like once it's stuck on So I'm just using some fake foliage and fake flowers that I get from my local market. They're only a pound a bunch. They're not the best quality. Some of them look quite nice and then some of them look awful. So I just try and pick the best that I can out of the ones that they've got. 
so i'm happy with them four and i'm just going to do exactly the same thing on the other three pieces of card so that they all match and once i've done that i'm going to start adding some more leaves So I'll stick them two into place and then I'll do exactly the same on the others. And it's just building it up bit by bit until you're happy with it. So I've had a mess and I've decided I'm going to put two of the leaves with the silver glitter on and then one of the sets of three leaves in that way. And I'm going to stick them on again with hot glue. And then once I've put these three on, I'll do exactly the same thing with the other three pieces of card. And it just means that they all look the same. And I know that if I did one and then tried to recreate it, I wouldn't remember how I put the leaves. So I just do it as I'm going along. It just makes life a little bit easier. And I always use a decent amount of glue and tweezers to press it down so you don't burn your fingers. And I'm just counting out that I've got enough leaves for the other three and what I'll have left. And then I'm going to stick that one into place and it doesn't matter too much about there being gaps or seeing the stems as you'll be covering these up with flowers. And also I try not to make them too flat so that there's a little bit of dimension to them. So I've stuck them all now on the other three and again I'm just going to add some more leaves just to make sure that we're covering up the card. So I'm going to pop two at the bottom there. And again do exactly the same on all the others. And then we just got a little bit more cardboard to cover up. So I'm just going to cut some of these leaves off the three just to fill the space. Um, I do this quite often. I will cut up um, the leaves and use them in my displays. So I'm just going to pop two down to cover the rest of the card and then I'm going to put a set of three over the top. And again, it doesn't matter about the stems because one of the flowers will be covering it. And I'm going to do that on all four of them. So while I'm doing that, I'd just like to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you're all well and having a good week. Thank you so much for your continued support. As always, it means the world to me. If you're new here and you like the video and you want to see more, then obviously please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And if you leave a com comment, I'll always reply. So I'm just sticking that into place and then I'm just going to add a couple of more leaves after this and then I'm done with the foliage. So now I'm just going to add two of these where I'm going to place the flowers and it's just to cover up the stems. And again, I'll do them on the other three in exactly the same way. And now I'm just going to add two blossoms. I'm going to add a larger one at the top and a smaller one underneath, just on top of the green flower, uh, the green leaves that we just put into place. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to pop some of these green 
leaves in the sides and at the top and it's just to give it a bit more texture I was going to try and use some of the little white bits but it didn't look right I couldn't get it to look right so I decided to just put the green stems in as well and then I'm pretty much done I'm happy with how they look I didn't want them to be too full and I'm, all I'm going to do is stick some white tack on the back of the card and then pop them on the frames how I want them and then they're done so I'm going to take them into the hall I'm going to put the blue the white tack on the back and then I'm going to show you what they look like So I hope you've enjoyed the video and um, yeah, we'll go into the hall and you can see them. And here they are on the wall. So I've put all four on for now. I don't know if I'll keep all four on. I might take two of them off, but I'm happy with how they look and they're just underneath another display that I made and the heart that I made I do have the video for the heart it's in a previous video if you want to see how I made that but yeah this is it bye